3,000 pre-orders already. You want to process it? Too bad. There's none in stock. T10 Mythical Horses are one of the greatest items to get in Black Desert Online. What? 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 Who doesn't want a sick mount that can fly T10 Peggy, that can gallop across the land spewing flames like a Lambo? And don't forget the mythical dying, the one that really needs to be buffed. Come on, PA, you can do better than this. Give us unlimited travel across the water. Either way, the Global Labs patch notes just dropped today, and they gave us a new mythical sensor mold recipe for the mythical sensor. I wanted to go over that with you and show you the cost of each different recipe. Okay, so as you can see, I have broken down each recipe that we have, starting with the first recipe that we got initially, the one that takes the melody of the stars, then the second recipe, which is gonna be all your pure crystals, then the new recipe that we just got on Global Labs. Just from a quick glance, you can see the cost of the recipes are constantly increasing as they increase the ease of access so they're saying that this is going to be the easiest to access because you simply have to get the ingots and the old moon catalyst and the lightstone crystals you know the problem with these magical lightstone crystals is the more people roll for t10s the less that are on the market did i just looked at the market this morning and they're actually starting to become pretty scarce that's going to be an issue with these recipes is all these items on the market are going to become more scarce and more valuable which is great for life skilling because this is going to make processing more profitable but the thing about it is you can take the easy way out and spend the most money or you can take the time and craft these melody of the stars and uh, enhance accessories and meld accessories and you can spend the least money on your catalyst you're looking at almost a hundred percent increase in price from here to here to the second recipe that we have 322 million 631 million and then when you go up here it just gets ridiculous and it, what's crazy about it is they're saying you need 400 old moon alchemy catalysts these are a vendor item that you have to pay 3,500,000 silver for. We'll ride up here on my sexy T10. Oh, yeah! So you're just gonna pull up to the old moon manager here. Hit the old moon shop. Yep, right here. 3,500,000. So I've got 1 billion silver on me, and I don't even have enough to buy the amount that you need. That's only enough for 295. You need 400 of these in the new recipe. This is the new recipe. 400 old moon alchemy catalysts. That's insane. Like, yeah, it's way easier to get the ingots, right? Yeah, that's that's easy to get. If they're even on the market, like the marketplace is almost sold out on these ingots already. The 10 ingots are on pre-order completely. Like you can't even get these on the market right now. 10 ingot, look. Sold out. 3,000 pre-orders already. You want to process it? Too bad. There's none in stock. Pre-orders already. Because people have seen this on Global Labs and they're like, Oh man, I've got to uh, use this new way to, to craft my mythical sensors. Because it's going to be way easier. Yeah, it's going to be way easier, but it's going to cost you 1.7 billion silver per sensor if you use this way with the pure copper pure tin pure crystal and moonlight opal then you're only spending 631 million silver the cost of crafting 10 sensors for each recipe so the oldest recipe in the book where you have to sit there and 
buy accessories, enhance them, meld them down for the melodies of the star. And for this cost, I just used the base price of a Nert ring. So this could cost you a little bit more. You know, the Nert ring is 5,300 silver. But let's say even if you're spending 10 million silver per one melody of the star, which usually if you just buy a lot of the accessories and enhance them, you can get a lot of these without even, you know, trying. It's just time consuming. So the thing about it is you could spend your time grinding and get the silver up and spend the silver to craft the new recipe, which is gonna be way easier to get. Or you could take the time chilling and doing life skilling and enhancing and melting to get the, uh, the melody of the stars and do the first recipe, which is gonna save you a lot of you know, a lot of silver and a lot of grind time. Now, if you love grinding and you just wanna grind extra hours instead of just chilling and watching a video and enhancing, like, it's up to you, you know? That's why I wanted to make this video and show you you have options. I like that they're doing this because it opens up the market for all these items, you know? So, like, life skilling is gonna be popping off even harder now. People are gonna need these magical lightstone crystals even more now so that opens up the market. This is a great thing. We need more items like this in the game. End game, super high tier items that can't be purchased, that have to be craft, that facilitate the value of market items. It's just really important for the economy of BDO and it keeps the player base driven and it opens up so many avenues for gameplay. So on our first recipe here, if you want to craft 10, you're going to be spending about 4 billion, 400 million silver. On our second recipe here, if you want to craft 10, you're going to be spending about 6 billion, 310 million silver. Personally, I have done it. I've ran the first recipe and the second recipe. The second recipe is super easy. It's really nice. I feel like this is the best recipe in my opinion. It's the quickest and it's the best silver per time value. So I mean, right now, if you're super end game gear, you can make this amount of silver in an hour easy. Every hour is a mythical sensor. So you can craft, you know, 10 mythical sensors in 10 hours. You can get 10 rolls. And the thing about these mythical sensors is it's a gamba item, right? You don't know if you're gonna tap it in one tap or you don't know if you're gonna tap it in 50 taps. So it could take you 50 hours to get one mythical horse. But the awesome thing about the mythical horses is there's only three of them right i got insanely lucky and one tapped one on christmas day it was super lit but who knows how many it's going to take for me to uh tap my next one i'm trying to get a uh, pegasus right now i need a boy and a girl pegasus that'll be my next attempt i'm hoping you got value from this video and this really helped you understand the options that you have as far as i can tell all my math is correct if i'm wrong in any way please correct the math and let me know this is just my personal opinion you know if we got any math whizzes out there you know i take pride in my math so i'm pretty sure all of this is done correctly unless they they change this right here on this recipe then the cost is going to be ridiculous but if you learned anything from the video today if you liked the video today make sure you take a second drop down there hit that like button for me hit that subscribe button for me leave me a comment let me know which mythical sensor recipe you're going to be using in the future and if you're looking for more video content make sure you check out one of these other videos right here because you know they're gonna be lit.